And that's how it's done! Hello and welcome back to Random Honest Reviews. I'm Michael. Mike. You're and so I'm stubborn. Your name is Mike. No, it's Michael. And it's... Whatever, I'm right. And I'm Sunderman. And today we saw A Million Ways to Die in the West by Seth MacFarlane. The creator of Family Guy. And Ted. And the series before Family Guy. But that's not important. <laughs> There's this guy, with low self-esteem. And then, he's changed. That's it? Yeah. Okay. And let's just mention, I like Family Guy a lot, but I'm not a huge fan, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot more than you, probably. Yeah, because I'm a South Park guy. Yes. Seen everything of Family Guy multiple times. Anyways, uh, the humor in this movie is way over the top, kind of like Family Guy, uh, and you kind of have to just go with it. I kind of like Lost. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, just have time to go with travel it. and stupid shit. He's died. Blah blah blah. Just go with it. Yeah, and just accept the fact that <coughs> that's the way it is. Yeah, I'll actually argue that uh, this movie is, uh, it, whether you like it or not, is more subjective than with most movies. Yeah. Because the humor will have to hit you right. Yeah. Or else you won't enjoy it at all, because uh, the story is kind of secondary. It's the dialogues, the ridiculous dialogues and one-liners that drives the whole movie. The biggest problem for me was the tone of the movie. Yeah. Because at one point, you get a really romantic feeling with uh, Seth MacFarlane and uh, Charlie Theron. The real romantic, like a chick flick actually. And then it cuts off to something, oh, tension, Liam Neeson is a bad guy, blah blah blah. And then it cuts off to toilet humor. It's just so many tones and I don't know what the movie actually tried it to be. I may be overanalyzing this, but they spent so much time with the love story that I didn't get what is this? Just a stupid movie or yes. does it try to be a love story? I just get, didn't get it. And I think it tried to play on some of the cliches. cliches. But it didn't make fun of the cliches, no, it just went no, with it. But it I, I agree the movie tries to be a bit too serious at times, but, but even then it manages to be completely ridiculous. But it didn't try to be ridiculous. Yeah, they did. No, not with a romance. No, but that just kind of feels you. You can't be funny all the fucking time. Yes, it is. Kung Pao, all the multiplied movies. Yeah, but, yeah, but Kung Pao is because it's so... It's just stupid. It's so stupid that I love it. But if you think about the Simpsons movie, uh, they they try to be a little bit serious, but it makes sense because it's about Homer and his character and how he is and how he reacts to certain situations, how he gets in the, these situations. It was funny, and it was a kind of love story there, but you bought it because the tone was right. It fitted that movie. But here, I don't know what they tried to do. They just tried to make a completely ridiculous movie that didn't necessarily make sense. But it wasn't ridiculous. When it was ridiculous, I, I laughed a few times, of course. I loved some of the humor, but I just didn't know what it tried to do because it focuses so much on other animal elements. It's Seth, it tries to be random. But it wasn't... It's supposed to confuse you. <laughs> but it, it wasn't, you know, random in the sense that it was funny, haha -ha random. The humor was kind of, here's a funny bit, but now we're serious. Here's a funny bit, now it's acting scenes. Here's some crap in their pants. Here's a romantic scene. I actually laughed uh, more during this movie than the standard comedy, I guess. Standard yeah. American comedy, because... Usually when you see the trailer for a comedy and then you oh, it looks funny yeah. and then you go watch it at the movies and Well, all the funny moments were in the trailer. I've seen everything. Yeah, but this time I, I laughed more Don't watch trailers for a comedy. It's really don't but th this time all the funny moments weren't in the trailer And the yeah. best the, the moment that I laughed the most I won't spoil it but there was a great pop culture reference in yes. this movie. I am, and I'm glad that wasn't in the trailer. Yeah, because I did not see that coming. Oh, and, I laughed. And we're not gonna say what that is. No, no, it's no so way. much more fun it's if you don't know about this. That, that, <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. You know, when, the movie, awesome. when the movie worked, it worked. Yeah. But I just think it was so, like I said, it was the elements. If it had a red line, 
this movie would be a lot better. I would like this movie a lot better if it just focused on the stupid toilet tumor, because I love that kind of funny stupid shit. Two characters should not have been, been in this movie, because the jokes were... With those two characters, they just had... They were just trying to push the character, the main character, played by Seth, a little bit, and then were not mentioned or seen in an hour, and... Which characters are you referring to? Uh, Sarah Silverman and uh, the guy from Friends. The whore and... The, the friends of Oh, yeah, yeah. The, you can say they tried to do something clever, because the whole situation with the whore and uh, this other guy, but I didn't find it funny or thinking, oh, that's 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 cool. I just yeah, didn't. I, I, I chuckled the first time it came up. You did? Yeah, a little bit, because you know, it's a little bit funny. It but just, but they, they brought it up like five or six times, yeah, and, and it, it just wasn't funny after the first. No, no, <laughs> no, it wasn't that funny after the first, and they kept repeating it a little bit, like Seth thinking, oh my god, this is clever, but it's not Seth. It was not clever. And here's another negative point from me. What was the negative with you? Yep. <laughs> if the... I didn't feel anything for Seth's character. I don't think he played it well, actually. That's just my taste. I just didn't feel... Mm -hmm. His facial expressions <clears throat> when things happened to him. I didn't feel anything when he was told some bad news or something. It's just... I didn't buy, buy it. And you, then you can say, Oh yeah, but it's a comedy movie. You're not supposed to feel that. But then I get to my other point and say that it's not specifically a comedy movie because it tries to do so many things. And uh, if, the, if, the, if the movie was dumb all of the time, then I wouldn't care for how he played the character or how the character was. Because then I thought, okay, but that's not what the movie's movie about. It's about stupid jokes <coughs> and that shit. Then I wouldn't even comment it. But since it tried so hard to do so, be a chick flick, I just didn't like his character or his acting abilities at all. Uh, about Counter argument, go! Yeah, I was just gonna um, talk a bit about his acting. Because he's into comedy, really. Yeah. And he, he I agree, he doesn't do these. Um, you don't feel. Say romantic, uh, serious movie moments very well. No. But I think he does the comedy stuff really well. But I, did, I won't say that he did those scenes bad. Those scenes he did kind of okay. He, he did it good. And Mr. Mike. Michael. Mike. Who was your favorite character? Uh, well, I actually like liked uh, Neil Patrick Harris character. Oh. The Mustache Man. The Mustache Man. <laughs> I think he plays this sleazy suit up businessman really well. Yeah. He's just such a creepy guy if he, <laughs> if he wants to. Yeah. I, 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 I have no uh, relationship uh, to that actor because I've not seen How I Met Your Mother or anything. Oh, I'm a huge How I Met Your Mother fan. So I've seen. It's a... I've basically seen everything except the last seasons three or four times. I, I uh, didn't necessarily laugh at his character uh, at any point. I don't think I did. He played well. Yeah. But I think you'll laugh more if you really know know him. Yeah, of course. Because of the way he responds to his own jokes. Yeah, <laughs> it's hilarious. My favorite character. Lee I didn't think he suited the, it was a, he didn't suit the movie well because the movie tried to do so many straight shit. I think but uh, I think he suits the movie because he's <coughs> at least what he tried to do because he's very good at this serious bad guy yeah, or angry he is guy. Great. He's good at that. And, great. and um, uh, Clinch Eastwood. <laughs> yeah, he's clever. And his character was never. His lines were never funny. No. So you can't put the guy that oh funny guy in that role and expect it to be good because the character isn't funny. But he was a great. He was the best character because he. The is is great. Yep. He's a, He's a fucking great actor, yes. and he played the role well. I bought everything that he did, but... What I think is that he fits the character, yeah. but the character doesn't fit the movie. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's a great way of putting it. So, what did you think overall about the movie? I did not like it. The tone shifting 
know the hell out of me. Too many elements. I did not know what the movie was trying to do. What are you trying to accomplish, Seth? I did not like any of the characters. Liam Neeson would be great in another movie. A lot of the humor was very predictable. Seth MacFarlane's actor acting did not suit it. Well, it's not suited for a romance shit. You know, I came in with low ex <clears throat> expectations, but I come with, came with ex ex expectations like, okay, I've never seen a movie by Seth. So I thought, yeah, maybe this will be our fun to watch about this random shit in his movies. It was there, but it wasn't enough. And when there's love scenes and action and intense shit, and when I don't care about the characters because of the lack of Seth's acting abilities in these sequences, then I don't care. Then those scenes are useless to me. When does comedy he's okay? Uh, there was a couple jokes I laughed at. <sighs> My initial re reaction after the movie was, is this a six? No. No, it's not a six. Is this a five? I thought, you know what? This is a four. This is four out of ten. I did not really? like- Really? Yeah, really. Because the things that I liked, that's basically like two minutes of the movie. I think every joke I laughed at, that was maybe, oh, I liked the mustache song. So maybe four minutes out of one hour and 45 minutes. That's not something I would recommend. That's not something I'm watching. Wow, yeah. so it's two grades worse than Godzilla. It is! Because it, I was just so <coughs> neutral with anything that was happening. I was just like, bleh! So, mm -hmm. no, four out of ten, do not watch this movie. Uh, well, my initial uh, thought now is that I liked it a lot more than you. Yeah. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit, because it's most of it is my kind of humor. I enjoyed, I enjoyed most of the humor. <sighs> well, I went into this movie like, well, it's Seth, it's kind of random as shit, and you just gotta accept it for what, it's, what it is, like Lost, like I mentioned. You just gotta accept that shit or you're gonna be crazy, going crazy. Yeah. And <clears throat> I was actually enjoying myself most of the time. Okay. And even in those... Uh, romantic, serious parts, I guess, it's... I think it was fine. It didn't bother me as much for you. Yeah, Maybe I'm more of a chick flick guy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't usually like romantic scenes, romantic movies. I like Love Actually, that's a, that's actually a great movie. That's the best romantic uh, movie I know of. Oh shit, maybe I like shit, uh, chick flicks. Yeah, I don't know. That's a huge concern. I'm having no expectations as to where things are going or anything. I just felt a lot of the humor was cheap to me. Yeah, I love cheap humor. Yeah, so for me... Yeah. This is gonna be a huge gap. I don't think it is as good as Ted. Ted is better. Okay. But I will give this movie... <clears throat> a week seven. A week seven. Yes. So... Okay, yeah. So yeah. If, if you like Seth, if you like Family Guy, if you like Ted, it's worth your money. It, it's not amazing, but it's worth your money. It's not worth your money. It is. Even if you like Family Guy. It is worth your money. No, it's not because it doesn't make sense. Who cares? Uh, they're repeating the same joke all over again, basically with the same lines, just trying to add some words or something. Like, oh, isn't that weird? Oh, that's funny. But it's not. I don't, it, I but don't again, it's really yeah. subjective. Yeah, it's these kind of kind of movies are extra subjective as well. I think this is the first time we are actually widely disagree. Yeah, movie. and I uh, just have to pay a tribute <clears throat> to Mr. Dom, because he said I would love to see a movie where you two disagree. Here you have it, Dom. <laughs> now you have to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Yeah. If you don't, you're a bad human being. Please. <laughs> Subscribe, comment down below, what do you think about the movie? Like, share this on Facebook and everything! We've been Random Honest Reviews and we'll see you next week! Oh, should we keep that fart? That's up to you. Well, let's see.